Good morning and welcome to Missoula Real Estate Today. This is Denny Bedard. Missoula Real Estate Today is presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Diane's been working with buyers and sellers in the Missoula market for over 25 years and shares her insights on the local housing market. Along with her trusted partners, Diane provides complete service for your real estate transaction and brings us guests who provide useful information on industry-related topics and trends. And now, Missoula Real Estate Today on News Talk KGVO. Welcome and thank you, as always, for joining Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere. Of course, we talk about uh, sales of houses a lot on this program. We also like to discuss the uh, rental situation around Missoula. And uh, with us today, a couple of guests. Heather's been here before. Heather Schwenk is Director of Sales with Missoula Property Management. And Grace McGue, the Senior Property Manager. So I welcome you both. Thanks for coming in. The Get Acquainted part, a little background on Missoula Property Management and what each of your duties and responsibilities are. Heather, I guess I'll start with you. Sure, Denny. Absolutely. We are a full-service property management company. Uh, We were established in 2003 and were owned and operated by Sherry Featherly. Uh, We manage a multitude of different properties, multifamily, single-family, homeowners associations, mobile home parks. Um, So just kind of a little of everything. Yeah. Director of sales uh, directs a lot of different things. Right? That's right. <laughs> How about senior property manager? Uh, Grace, you're new to the program. How about you? Yeah. I mean, we um, do different kind of prospecting, all different kinds of uh, single family homes, multifamilies. We do HOAs, a few commercial accounts, um, kind of do a little bit of everything. How have you been uh, conducting business over the last nearly, gosh, nearly four months now? My goodness, uh, the coronavirus restrictions and everything. How how has that been as far as uh, conducting business? Yeah, I mean, I know that the pandemic was difficult for everyone and it's new charted water, uncharted waters. Yeah. Um, our office took measures to ensure the safety of both our staff and the community. We closed the lobby to the public. We offered working from home. Um, we kind of changed the way we did everything from maintenance to showings. Um, Obviously, a big concern was about how, when, and if rent was going to be paid. Um, And that was a concern for owners, staff, tenants, yeah, everyone. Um, And unfortunately, a lot of tenants were laid off due to the virus. So there was a little bit of uncertainty about whether rent would be able to be paid. Um, But due to the governor's directives, um, we didn't charge late fees or evict tenants or anything for non-payment. And we tried to work with everyone facing a hardship, payment plans, kind of trying to be a little bit more lenient as things were going. Mandate compared to, uh, you know, just, just kind of doing what you, you felt was right. Were there were there any particular guidelines laid down for you as far as, well, now we need to get a hold of the property owner and say, hey, this is uh, what we're going to do as far as collecting rent, things like that. How, how did you handle that in with, with, your, with your clients, i.e. The, the property owners? Yeah, so just kind of assuring them that we would do all we could, um, you know, on their behalf. But also just letting them know that we really, you know, we're in a position we needed to work with the tenants. Um, you know, some of them, it was unexpected for everyone. They didn't know what to do, what to expect, right. you know, when their unemployment checks were going to come. You know, a big majority of our tenants are are in the service industry. You know, they're working for local restaurants or businesses. Um, it was very stressful time for everyone. And so I think communication was key. And we tried really hard to just be as communicative as we possibly could be with our owners to let them know what to expect. And how things were going with collections and things like that. Uh, other factors besides naturally, obviously, a lot of people, uh, at least on a on a temporary basis, some more temporary than others, out of work. Um, how, how did you see that affect the supply and demand of the, the properties that you manage? We weren't sure what to expect this right. season, um, but we're happy to report that we really didn't see too much change. Um, you know, it was pretty much an ordinary season. It's it's remained very good. We have a lot of people looking for rental properties, moving in the area. Um, In fact, speaking to others in the industry, um, they're reporting much of the same. Um, We're fortunate to live in Montana where the impact was less than other areas. Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Our guests, Heather Schwenk and Grace McGue of Missoula Property Management on our program this week. Uh, What what is your relationship with realtors uh, in general, not just Diane and Windermere, but how, how do those two businesses interact? Well, we're definitely both in the housing industry, so we interact quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I happen to have my real estate license myself, and I've been really fortunate to work with many of the agents in our industry over the years. Um, in doing so, I've been able to build some rapport with them, and it's great because then they're referring their clients to me um, to work with on the property management side of things. 
And uh, typically, how many uh, rentals are you responsible for at any given time at Mozilla Property Management? Yes, yeah, so we manage approximately 1,600 units, and that consists of a wide range of different types. We have multifamily, single family, large complexes, smaller duplexes, triplexes. Um, we also manage several mobile home parks, the homeowners associations, and even a few commercial properties in the area. Well, let's start from the uh, from the landlord's point of view. What what are the advantages of uh, having a property management company take take care of my rentals? Well, if you've owned investment property for any length of time, you know that while it can be financially rewarding, um, at the same time, it also requires a large commitment um, sure. for your time and effort. So while it may make sense to take the do-it-yourself approach if you're a handy person or live close to the property and don't mind devoting you know, several hours a month to the task. In many cases, it just really isn't practical. Um, as a landlord, you know, you're dealing with setting the right rental rates, marketing, showing the property again and again, screening, drafting leases, dealing with not only your day-to-day maintenance, but of course, any emergency or after hours maintenance, the move out inspection, not to mention all the legal stuff that's always changing. And after every move out, you're doing it all over again. So we think you should spend your time doing what you like to do and reduce your liability and let us handle the work. And I suppose every, uh, you know, you you brought up a few examples of maybe people people who like to do that. I I know that that also a lot of your clients, they're they're not even in the market. They don't live here. And so they probably rely a little bit heavier uh, on a property management company. So just case by case, I guess, huh? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Over to the prospective tenants. Um, in, in what ways does it benefit them to go through the, the rental screening process? Yeah, so Grace, I'll probably need you a little bit closer to the microphone. Sure. There um, you go. So our applications, they're good for six months, and they're good towards any of our properties. So say you applied for a property and it had a whole bunch of applications on it. I mean, obviously, only one group of people is going to be able to get that one. So you can use your same application towards a different property that either might come available at the same time, Maybe it's going to come available two or three months from now and you're still looking. Um, So that's really nice that we can hold them for such a long time. Um, The good thing, too, is that the prospective tenant, once they apply, they've already been pre-qualified. So Um, they're able to secure um, a property basically as soon as it becomes available. They don't have to reapply. They can just use their same application. We have all their information on file, and then it's really a quick process for them to get into wherever they're looking for. So I apply, I pay my fee, and I'm I'm good for six for months, six and months. Yeah. and hopefully you'll track something down for me between now and uh, the end of six months. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, are you uh, is your success rate pretty high on that? Uh, do you have a lot of? Uh... Yeah, I mean we have a lot of people coming back. Um, I mean we ask on the application what they're looking for: an apartment, a multifamily home. Um, multiple bedrooms. And so we might say, okay, this particular unit was given to an earlier applicant, but we have another, say, whatever they're looking for coming available um, in the next few months. Do they want to go see it? Are they interested in that one? And that might not even be on our website yet. So they kind of get a little bit of an in too, if we already have their application on file, um, things that we might know about in the office coming up. Missoula, excuse me, Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate, our guests Heather Schwenk and Grace McGue from Missoula Property Management. And the the application process, for a number of reasons, I'm sure, is is pretty thorough. I think you'd agree. What What is the template for that? Why, why do you ask the questions you ask to help determine worthy applicants? Well, we've developed a proprietary scoring system that evaluates each of our applicants on a wide variety of factors. Hmm. Um, Those factors include income, length of employment, criminal background, and credit. Credit is only one factor in that equation. Um, We find that there are many tenants with poor or no credit who have proven to be great tenants. Mm. Um, So we evaluate every situation um, as a whole. We don't focus on one dimension. Our scoring system has taken many years to develop. Um, We've tested it and retested it. Mm. It's just one of the reasons we can be so confident in our ability to to make quality tenant placements. Do you like it? Are you pretty happy with uh, with what you've got in place yes, right now? Actually, Is there anything you'd like to change or you, you think you're good? No, it's been great. We um, have a third party company that screens our tenants for us. The nice thing about that is um, tenants can get a, an answer back within a business day. So it's quick and easy and simple. They can apply right on our website and it's fast. You know, Heather, the, the last time you were here, I think you had a, a stat Somewhere around only 2% vacancy rate. Is is that is that pretty close to where we are now? So currently we're more around a 4% vacancy okay. rate, um, which is actually relatively low for this time of the year. 
um, vacancy rates in Missoula, they tend to trend based on seasonality. And we typically see our highest uh, vacancy currently, like during the spring and summer months, right. um, which is usually more around 5 to 6% vacancy. When we last spoke, it was during the winter months. Um, and our goal is always to have those leases secured during the winter months so that we do have less vacancy at that time. There's probably not a typical tenant needs to this, but what what are what are people looking for when they when they come to you? Or is it is it mostly I'm looking for a house for my family of four? I'm a I'm a single guy. I just need a one bedroom. Is there there a typical, or is it pretty much everything? And hopefully you've got something in each category to accommodate them. Right. So, um, like I say, we manage a lot of different things. So we do get a lot of people from different walks of life looking for different things. I would say right now that we definitely need more single family inventory. Um, For sure, we're getting a lot of people looking for a single family home and we just don't have a lot. We've got lots of apartments available, um, all different types, uh, but we do need more single family inventory. So if anyone out there is considering turning over their single family home to management, uh, there's a lot of people looking right now. Yeah. And uh, does Missoula have an unusually high number of rentals compared to home ownership? right now or are we pretty close to in line with with other desirable communities in our in our uh, size range sure so you know countrywide um, they say around 50 percent of homes were owner occupied in missoula we're about 53 percent of the homes were occupied by renters um, and about 47 by owners which has been similar um, throughout the last few years and it's pretty typical for a university community Mm -hmm. Um, and that like i say that's remained pretty steady um over the past couple of years. Yeah. And of course, nothing's very typical right now. You know? No, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you started to answer this question. I, I hope I'm not repeating myself here, but I'll, I'll kind of let you expand on it if you could. Uh, your relationships with property owners, and they can be involved or uninvolved as they wish, but I, I would think you, you try to get them to understand the reasons they, they hired you to begin with, right? Yeah. I mean, we want um, any owners to trust us as the professional in our industry, so we, I mean, we would love you to allow us to manage your investment property. Um, I mean, after all, that's why you hired us in the yeah. first place. Um, so our model is more of a hands-off style management. Um, so if you want to be heavily involved with the management of your property, um, we just might not be the best fit. I know Heather earlier mentioned people that are kind of handymans and kind of want to get yeah. in there. That's not really our style. Um, so that's something we try to be upfront about with um, when we're interviewing owners and kind of prospecting and doing all that kind of stuff, we kind of lay out what our model is and try to make sure that it's the best fit for both sides. How about licensing and qualifications? You know, I don't, I don't even know if I asked you about this the last time you were in. Um, what, what does it take to be recognized as a, as a credible property management company? Yeah. So with the exception of our administrative and maintenance staff, all of our employees are licensed property managers. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're also members of NARPM, which is the National Association of Residential Property Managers. Um, that's a professional organization that promotes education, designations, and networking as a resource to empower its members with knowledge and skill. And so a NARPA member honors and subscribes to a code of ethics and standards of professionalism and commits to the professional and ethical practice of property management. There um, are very stringent requirements for education, experience, and service, not only in your initial education, but continuing education each year to keep up with your license. Um, so it takes a lot, a long time and um, hard work to meet those requirements. So all of our staff members that are licensed and part of NARPM, they they, um, attend yearly conferences and conventions. And then also, again, like I said, they seek additional education throughout the year. Which I I think is good, right? You would probably agree with that. That Yeah, there was was some some hard work to get there, but it's a good thing. We had a a home inspection service gentleman on. It, It hasn't been a really long time since Montana required home inspection services to be to be certified and, and qualified. You know, I can't just uh, carry a sign down the hall saying, I'm Denny, I'm a home inspector. Mm-hmm. And uh, so so to get get that certification and qualification, to add to credibility, if nothing else, and I, it sounds like you would agree that, that what you have to go through to get that official listing is, uh, it's worth going through. For sure, yeah. And I mean, the continued education is important too, because things are always changing, laws are updating, things that we didn't encounter, say, five, 10 years ago that are a big um, part of what we deal with now, um, mm-hmm. ESAs, things like that, that weren't necessarily as big of an um, something that we came into contact with. So the continuing education, I think, is is just as important as the initial. Right. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. 
And our guest, Heather Schwenk, Director of Sales, and Grace McGue, Senior Property Manager with uh, Missoula Property Management. So a tenant contacts you with a problem. My, my toilet won't flush. My furnace or my air, condition, air conditioning this time of year won't turn on, things like that. What makes Missoula Property Management a good company to, uh, to have in your corner when there are those kind of problems facing a tenant? Well, for a tenant, um, having a professional property management company uh, in your corner is key on maintenance because you know that it's going to be taken care of and taken care of the right way. Um, at Missoula Property Management, we have a, a maintenance company that's our sister company to Missoula Property Management. And uh, we have a team of professionals that are ready to get in and get the job done and uh, take good care of our tenants. That's super important uh, to us. Uh, Also, I think on the owner side of things, maintenance is the second most expensive part of owning an investment property just over a vacancy. Um, And so while we understand that we have to keep that cost down, we use our bulk buying power to really get repairs done quickly and, and effectively um, just to make sure that our owners uh, and MPM are protected as well. And we work with a lot of reliable contractors um, that have been in the business for many years um, that have proper licensing issued by the state of Montana. We re- review and evaluate their insurance, make sure they're licensed and insured before they're entering in the property. So for the tenant as well, they know that, you know, we have licensed professionals. If it's not something that our handyman um, service can take care of, we have licensed people going in taking care of those things. Doesn't really have anything to do with what we're talking about right now, but uh, you had mentioned before we went on the air that that you have relocated. You probably don't get a lot of walk-in traffic, but uh, you you have some fairly new offices or a, new, a newer location? Yes. So we moved from a 3,000-square-foot building that was located off of Mullen Road um, to a 6,000-square-foot building. Yep. So uh, that's located off of West Harrier. Mm-hmm. So we're at 5735 West Harrier Drive. So while we are a little bit out of town now, um, we're right alongside the highway. So a lot of people have said that they actually prefer our new location because uh-huh. they can avoid Reserve Street. <laughs> um, and we now have a, a shop for our maintenance staff to work out of. So that's been really great. Um, we can get in, get our jobs done. Yeah. you know, and, and have the space to do it in. That was my next question. It was, why does a property manage, what does a property management company do with 6,000 square feet? But you sound pretty happy that you doubled it. You must be doing a lot of stuff. Yes, with we have uh, just over, I think we're right around 26 employees mm. um, between our maintenance company and our property management company. Uh, we have a great team of people that are out there just working hard every day to make sure our tenants and owners are taken care of. And we need the space to do it in. So it's been really nice. What about uh, some of the daily challenges that a property management company faces that uh, you feel Missoula Property Management takes pretty good care of? Yeah, so, um, I mean, in any kind of property management, every day is a new day when you walk in the door. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to face. Um, so we might be faced with, like, a large leak in apartment or um, other kind of maintenance issue one day and then tenant complaints another day, or we might have a little bit of both every single day. Um, But we've worked really hard over the past several years to create systems and processes to ensure we do our best to meet the needs of both our owners and our tenants. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. We are with Heather Schwenk, Director of Sales, and Grace McGue, Senior Property Manager there with Missoula Property Management. Um, I always like to ask guests, as you know, Heather, you've been on the show before, success stories, anything that um, you've dealt with recently that you found uh, especially gratifying? Absolutely. So even during this pandemic, we had two brand new apartment complexes that came on the market. We had Lolo Peak Village, and that's located in Lolo, um, really close to the brewery there. And then we have American Way Apartments on American Way, just off of Reserve here. And both of those have been very successful. They've been super popular. People have been renting those up. We have just a few vacancies left. So if anybody's looking for a brand new apartment, those are the place to go. And so that was a huge win for us, not knowing what the market might look like through COVID-19 um, and being successful in getting those properties leased up. Um, we also just developed a new owner website. So it's specific to our owner clients, um, and that is at MissoulaPropertyManagement.com. And uh, so far, pretty pretty happy customers overall? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have a, a very high uh, owner retention rate. I think we're at like over 99% retention over the years. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that, uh, it does sound really, really good. What about uh, marketing yourselves? Uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll acknowledge that it's not an elephant in the room. It's a little tiny thing in the room, that there are other property management companies. What, what about um, marketing yourselves? How do you go about doing that in terms of, uh, oh, I don't know, of course, uh, realtors, obviously, mm-hmm. and uh, you're a licensed realtor yourself, but in terms of uh, contacting 
perspective, customers, uh, by customers, I mean property owners. What, uh, what, what is your, your procedure? How do, you, how do you keep things busy? Sure. So um, part of developing this new website is a, a good way for us to start getting a little SEO, um, you know, towards that site, which our other site is great and it's definitely more tenant based um, website. So we thought that this new owner site would be great. Um, and so, you know, we're just we're there, we're available, you know, owner clients can call anytime and get a response. We can come out and do a free market analysis for our owner um, prospects. And so Grace and I both do that. Uh, we tra- take great pride in, in um, just customer care and taking really good right. care of our owners. And really, that's our primary function at the office is owner relations. So our owners can call and talk to, you know, one person if they like and uh, build that rapport with with um, with Grace and I uh, over the years. I would guess that a property management company website gets a lot of traffic. If you've got folks looking for a rental and they go to your site, what what are, what are they going to see? How is it categorized? What's available? Uh, photos, descriptors, thing, things like that. What what can they expect when they go to that website? Well, we get a lot of great feedback on the website. We actually just went through a rebranding a couple of years ago, and we rebranded everything from our logo to our colors. And you know, during that process, we developed this new website. Um, And we've gotten just amazing feedback. It's super user friendly. We have lots of photos on there. We have um, some video tours of our properties. Uh, So we worked really hard for that. Um, And I think it's been hugely successful. We also, of course, do yard signs and, and, you know, all of the more typical standard marketing. But our website draws a ton of traffic. And that's probably one of our biggest uh, pieces of marketing material. What are the challenges to managing tenant? expectations uh shall i say i'm sure some are well maybe a little more particular than than others uh, a little public relations uh, go, goes into play there but but what what is managing tenant expectations like for a property management company sure well as you know everybody's a little different ah. um and you know housing is very sensitive for people so Uh, We have, like I say, a team of really great licensed property managers and the tenants are all assigned to one property manager. So, again, they're building rapport with one person that they can trust and and know how to contact and they're available, you know, to to talk to them via email or call. Um, So I think that that that's probably really key. They're not just calling into the office as another number. You know, they have an established relationship with someone they can call immediately. Is there ever a situation uh, from the, the property owner side, a, a property owner contacts uh, Missoula Property Management, says, I would, I would like you to manage my property. Is there ever a situation that, for, you know, whatever reason, I'll let you handle the tactful part of the answer here, that, that you would, would turn that down? Yeah, you know, um, there are properties that we will not take on. Sometimes it's location-based, so... Um, currently we don't go much more than 20 to 30 minutes drive outside of Missoula. Hmm. The reason for that really is we don't feel like we could give that owner a good service. We do drive bys of our properties and of course the maintenance and all of those things, um, you know, require us to drive to the location. And if they're, um, further outside of that area, we just don't feel like we can get there enough to service them the way that we can, um, our properties that are right here in the Missoula Valley. Where where do you think we're going with uh, the availability of of rental properties? Do you uh, do you see time? You mentioned it's about four uh, percent availability mm-hmm. right now. Do you do you see a time where, man, if if we don't do something here, we're going to have an even tighter crunch? Or do you look at a development or maybe something in the works that you know about, thinking this this is going to be a good thing for not only our business but but for Missoula in general? You know, right now, I think in twenty twenty. Things have slowed down just a little bit on building and developing multifamily housing in Missoula. However, I do know that come 2021 and 2022, there's going to be another big boom and there's a lot of units coming on the market. But I am confident that we're going to continue to be very strong here in Missoula. In fact, um, we're always having people coming, you know, from the western part of the United States into Missoula because it's such a great place to live. And so I think that the housing market is going to continue to be strong. I really don't see, you know, that we're going to have any major vacancy. In fact, um, you know, like I say, we've remained right around anywhere between three to five percent, I would say, on average in vacancy, where the national average is always more like six or seven percent. 
So Missoula has always had a very, very healthy vacancy rate. Sometimes I think it's actually good to have a little bit higher vacancy rate. Um, it just makes it a little bit more competitive for the tenants. Uh, but as we speak, it's great. You know, we talk a lot to the the realtors from Windermere Real Estate that that join us. Not only not only Diane Beck, of course, but uh, Sue Williams will pop in, Becky Peterson, Brent Wahlberg. And so it's it's no secret that the average home price in Missoula is um, well, it's up there. How how would you characterize the uh, the 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 average rental prices in in this market compared to um, to to other markets in in well in the West or anywhere for that matter? Well, let's face it. You know, unfortunately, affordable housing is an issue here in Missoula. Sure. Um, a lot of that really just comes from it's expensive to build and develop a property here that property taxes are high. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of those expenses get passed on to our tenants um, because otherwise you wouldn't have a viable investment property. So it's it's not cheap. <laughs> Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate and our guests uh, here from Missoula Property Management are Heather Schwenk, the Director of Sales, Grace McGue, the Senior Property Manager. Oh, I also want to thank um, some of Diane's marketing partners that help bring you the show every week on News Talk KGVO. Rob Fleming with Man Mortgage, Miles Link of Opportunity Bank of Montana, and Carol Blodgett from MakeItMissoula.com. I'm glad you gals came in. Let's let's go over uh, the, the contact information again, uh, a little bit of the the, the application process and just, just things like that, just to make sure folks know how to get a hold of you if they are interested. Sure. So all of our applications are done online. Um, our Again, our tenant website is rentinmissoula.com, and you can find all the information. You can filter units by bedroom size, by rent amount, and then the application is right on there. Um, once we receive your application, we try to have your our answer back to you within one business day. Um, and then if you want to come in, our, our new office location is 5735 West Harrier Drive, and then if you have any questions, you can always call us at 406-251-8500. Did I miss anything? How did I do? Heather, you got something there? Sure. Um, I just also wanted to point out that um, I feel like we're a little bit unique in the Missoula market in that we have uh, a leasing person that actually goes out and does showings for us. So if you want um, to meet somebody at the property and talk to somebody, we have that option available. So um, and he comes with great experience out of uh, a market in Chicago, nice. 10 years of, of experience and sales um, for our tenants. So uh, he's a great resource. I also wanted to point out that we also have self-showing options. And I know with COVID-19, some people are more comfortable with that. Um, so we do have options where people can register for a self-showing on a lockbox and they'll get a code and they can enter the property. Oh. It's also really great for people that are working you know, the nine to five job and just can't get away from work to go out nice. and look at something. So um, it allows them the opportunity to go in the evenings or on the weekends and, and check out our properties. So just knowing that we have some options there for showings for, for folks. Excellent. That's yeah. A, yeah. That is a good one. Missoula Property Management, the good folks from there, uh, Heather Schwenk and uh, Grace McGue and Missoula Property Management on Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere. Thanks for coming in. Uh, good job. Uh, great seeing you again, and um, and Grace, nice meeting you. Yeah, Danny, we always appreciate it so much. It's nice to visit with you. Thank you for listening to Missoula Real Estate Today. We hope you found this morning's information to be helpful. If you have any suggested topics for any future Missoula Real Estate Today programs or any questions about buying or selling, contact Diane Beck with Windermere Real Estate. Email dianebeck at realtor.com or visit our website, homesinmissoula.com. That's homesinmissoula.com. We'll see you next time on Missoula Real Estate Today. With over 25 years' experience in the local housing market, Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate knows what it takes to sell your home. The Diane Beck team keeps up with the latest trends and marketing strategies to maximize the sale potential of your property, featuring a customized multimedia marketing plan. Buyers and sellers know they can count on Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate, your Missoula real estate source. Visit move2missoula.com. That's move2missoula.com.